Hey guys, a warm welcome back to the channel. I've got an ultra cool one today. We're back on the Boxer. Now, when that car was built back in 1983, it was all done by hand. There were no computers, no robot assembly lines, and we're going old school methods today. There are a few little problems on the car that need to be addressed, and the way I want to do this is how it was done back in factory, back in the day. And it's a bit of a dying art, so to find someone with the skill set to be able to do this, is quite rare so today you are in for a treat let's head on over to the workshop and i'll show you exactly what's happening so if we leave the challenge for dali for just a second take a stroll this way past the 430 spider the Taycan Turbo S, the Lamborghini Huracan Evo, the Bentley Continental GTC, the other Bentley, the Green Lambo. We're back in the corner, past the 308, onto the BBI. Let me explain what cool things are happening on the car today. All right, so we've got the guys here. We've got Bill, the main man, and AK. They are sorting out, first of all, the hole in the roof here. So what we've done is we've ground underneath for a we've fresh, good weld. Yeah, yeah this is right, yeah. Then we've got the uh, torch underneath. It's got a magnet, has yeah. it? Yeah. So it's just going to stop everything coming yeah, through. No, exactly. 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 Okay. Sections. Special tricks of the trade here. Been cut out. That goes under there. We've got our fire blanket, so yeah. we don't have any problems with the. Uh, Oh, going up in flames. Really fire, yeah. Actually, so, uh, yeah, yeah we've gone to this extent. Yeah, we don't want this one just to burn back, down now. Right the back, yeah. Normally, I, I put 50p. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's when you're doing the expensive job. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got a little metal, bit of metal here that we've ground down. Cut to the shape. Yeah, cut to the shape. That's Let's great. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I see. Right, it's actually on the uh, on the magnet itself. We've cut one there down to shape, that fits in the big hole. That is perfect. There you see that, and then we're just gonna weld the rest. There we go. So the first of many imperfections on this bodywork is about to be addressed, and this one is the one that really, really bugged me the most. That roof aerial, we are sorting it out. really was the bit that bugged me the most about the uh, the change that Ferrari made when the cars came into the UK to get rid of that windscreen aerial and in place I think the older aerial is in there somewhere there it is I've changed my mind guys can we put this back on yeah <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the next uh, process that so we've welded it, we've uh, just belt sanded it down. The next bit, expert. 36 grip now we use. Okay, so we're gonna scratch it all up. Yeah, yeah not because it all, just went Just went, scratch went, around went, it yeah. because the lead doesn't like a flat surface. Not flat, it's smooth. Smooth. Yeah. So it does, sorry, it doesn't like a. <laughs> <laughs> flat, smooth, same thing. Smooth. If you find your eye, no, no, wearing glasses, it doesn't matter. You see it like that? I yeah. To here to here. Right. All good? Oh yeah. You can clearly see that on camera, that's good. To do the specialist lead work on my Ferrari required skill, but more importantly, having the right tools. You see, with the right tools for the job, it not only makes the job quicker, smoother, and gives you that perfect finish, but it also allows me to multitask while I'm getting a helping hand. Whew. 
This is a big job, but with the Manscaped 4, it gets finished in no time and leaves my man looking impressive. Oh, lovely. And you too can achieve some great results with the perfect kit for your package. The new Lawnmower 4 is next level with advanced ceramic blades, skin safe technology, plus it has wireless charging and it's waterproof too. So you can literally use this anywhere, even in the shower. And with its clever travel safe feature, you won't have to worry about something going off and buzzing away in your suitcase. So join over 2 million men who trust Manscaped and get the right tools for your jewels. And right now you can save 20% plus free international shipping by simply heading to manscaped.com slash ratarossa. That's manscaped.com slash ratarossa. Your balls will thank you. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got the tray of goodies that are going to do the lead part of this. Yeah. Um, should we talk through some of the uh, the stuff that we need to do the process? Yeah, absolutely. So basically, these are your paddles. So what you want to do is you want to heat up the paddles slightly, make sure they're clean, dip into the tallow and also heat the tallow first. This is like almost your lubricant or your yep. lubricant agent to make sure none of the lead sticks inside the wood and obviously cause... So we've got a mess. brand new one for the, uh, the BBI, but we've also got Bill's old one how old is this one Bill? Oh, how, no, how long have you been using it <laughs> i love that look at it look at this look at the contrast between these two <laughs> look at the age look on it this. yeah old and look new look at that and then there's a brand an old new fry and any fry yeah, yeah. That old generation oh, yeah. let me real. ask you which one do you prefer to use yeah <laughs> definitely of the old course. one <laughs> of course and talking about before we go into the process of leading let's talk about hammers or all right let's this hammers. is awesome check this out right. so this is bill's What's this now? 35 years old at least. Oh, so when do you get that? 1982, you think? Yeah? Yeah, right, yeah. this is a 1982 hammer. When he first started, probably. This yeah. is a 1983 car. Now, this is also a snap on, right? Yeah. yeah. So Snap-on have a lifetime guarantee. So one day what we're going to do is when the Snap-on van turns up, we're going to say, look, mate, this is this is broken. Can you exchange it? And they're going to ask for a receipt. Have you still got the receipt? Yeah. No, you don't need the receipt. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this is Bill's original one when he first started working on these things. And, and this now, is relatively new. And look, look at, look, at the thickness of the head. Look at the head. Look at the head. You can see the thickness of it. It's at least double, right? Yeah. Check that out. That's How been bashed cool about a few times. It's oh, years, isn't I, it? love, so, I love this. Yeah. This is so good. I thought we'd show you because it'd be quite interesting, right? Yeah. So, so, tools of the trade. So, now leading. So, we've got our lubricant. Yep, lubricant is we've here. We've got the paddles. For the paddles, basically, because you don't want any of the lead particles sticking in there and causing a mess on the surface. Okay. I guess hand cleaner, nothing. Yeah, let's just hand cleaner, don't worry about it. <laughs> hand I guess, cleaner, right? I guess okay. before we get started into these bits, it's obviously very important to make sure that all of the metal surfaces are as clinically clean as possible. Clean. Okay. So any kind of bits of debris, any bits of dark spots needs to be fully ground out first okay. before we think about even leading. If we look at this whole top, this is the leading kit, right? Yep. So we've talked through the tallow process. You want to heat the tallow, you yep. want to make sure this is clean, heat this slightly, which is the paddle, mm -hmm. paddles, whichever one you want to use. And then you dip into the tallow. You want to wipe the tallow slightly to just form a very, very soft film. You don't want anything too shiny or too thick, otherwise it just won't grip properly. So once that is all done, you want to make sure your, your panel is, is at temperature or, or hot enough to make sure all of the moisture expels from there, right? Okay. And then what you want to do after that is get your pliers. Once the panel is, is fully at temperature, fully clean, this is the tinning process, right? Tinning so butter, yeah, it's cool. called tinning butter. It's from from Eastwood. It's probably the, the best type that, of butter you can that buy. Get a bit lead. Yeah. 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 Butter is out. So okay. Yeah. So no, no lead in it completely. Okay. Yeah, right. So it's split between lead and tin. tin. I think it's seventy percent lead. Yeah. Uh, or thirty percent tin or micro. And you find you find this gives you the best result. Yeah. This, this is, is yeah the, the best really way good. to do it. I think and, and the best product to use for it. So there are a couple. Remember of, this Eastwood, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, um, there's obviously a couple of ways you can do this. You, I mean, some people, they typically tend to have a brush. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's going to be on your Ferrari. So. It's, 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 it. We're going lightweight on this. Yeah? So <laughs> yeah. you, no you, carbon fiber bits here. Use as minimal as possible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See how heavy it is? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's just one bar. So, yeah, I mean, exactly. hopefully we won't need too much more. But So, there's a number of different ways you can do this. You can either, I don't know where the brush has gone. You can either brush the tin on and heat the tin on the panel. Mm -hmm. the brush, doesn't but I think what you find works best is when we heat the panel at the same time as heating this and heating it at the same time. It just gives you, I think, a better heat surface. It, they're clean at the same time. You know? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go yeah, through yeah. that stage when we actually cool. apply on it. So that's probably the best way that's to do it. That's it, yeah. And then we've got our lead bar. That's and all then, our yeah. bits we need, yeah. Oh, the, the lead and bar. obviously something to uh, heat up. Now, 
Ideally, it would be oxyacetylene, right? Yeah, in an ideal world, but I mean, you well, know, we've, yeah, we've we're, we're kind of, we've got right of improvising day, so. because yeah. I forgot to get some. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just smoothed the surface with a DA, cleaned it off, and next, it's ready for lead. You keep it down? Yeah. Come out. It's expelling all that moisture, make sure the panel is So basically you want to essentially force cool this a little bit. Okay, wow, look at that. Take the acid off it. Right. Just to give the lead the best chance of adhesion when it comes to uh, the leading process. The last thing I think with this, as well as getting the process right, you have to be as keen as you possibly can because you just don't want any issues in the future, basically. Mm. So the more time we can spend preparing the process, the better. And this stuff is, what, what's this guys? This, this is pallet. Yeah. That, we, the way that we use that, when you put the lead, do it with, spread it with the wood. Yeah. That, if you don't, something between it to stop stick with the wood. Oh, okay, mm. right, like, right, right. So it's stop, like a, like a waxy, like stop, lubricant. Stop the lead, yeah, stop yeah. Stop yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Better exactly. Yeah. Finish it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, really. Oh, wow, look at that. See that? He's gone with his favourite old tool, yeah. Now this is the talent. Very satisfying to watch that. <laughs> yeah, certainly is. Eighty three as well. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Same year, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Look, since day one. Same. <laughs> all, all the tools about using the yeah. car the same age, yeah. It's like we were destined to it remember was, this car, yeah, you know what I mean? Back in 1983, you didn't realise that this was going to happen, did you, yeah? We did not realise all But look at this, later. this is lovely, nice, sturdy construction, just like this. That's worth a lot of money, don't they? Yeah, exactly. You might have that How many years have you been doing this, Bill? Not sure. Yeah. Maybe 35, 40 years. 30, 40 years. Yeah. Uh, started with uh, what? We started with my dad watching. Yeah? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Hit it with the hammer. 
Yeah, yeah. Tenderizing yeah. steak. Fair enough. You yeah, can yeah, yeah. So tonight we're having steak. Right? <laughs> yeah. Not the roof. No, not the roof. I wonder how many panels those hands have felt and yeah, all those imperfections in panels oh, over the years, yeah? Oh, the panel, right? I don't think you've got a number towards it. Yeah. It's almost like a jungle beat, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Makes for a dance, doesn't it? Yeah. Look, nothing there at all. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> that was mad. And that is exactly what you see here, really, with the contrast up there. You with yeah, the, every joint. Yeah. yeah. Every joint is lead. All the all the joints yeah. use lead. Well, yeah, you found the joint in. Yeah. That separate. That skin. Okay, so we are going to focus on another area today, which is a bit of a problem, and that was this area, which is exactly. caused um, probably the most damage from the uh, little rust from over the years and the bubbles. So, what is the uh, process of sorting this one out? Oh, it's gonna be, you have to take the black dot off, you see that? Yeah, you have to open out it. You have to open these. it, make it bigger. Right, okay, and why is that? Because, because otherwise, have, it's just uh, gonna yeah. come back, yeah? Definitely. Right. So I get the pleasure of using yeah. in a custom tool. Yeah. So it's down like this angle. Leave yeah? it straight and down. Yeah. Use no, use the edge here. Just the edge. Just the edge yeah. here. Wow. So cool. Hard, isn't it? It is. It it's, is. Yeah, you yeah. definitely need a bit of elbow grease to kind of. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's show the pro. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Just like sanding the last bits. Right, so the guys have made the mock-up. Now I'm gonna to have to point this out because it's so good, you can't even see it, right? So this <laughs> is the mock-up here. We cut this bit here and then they're gonna tack it all together and then we're gonna cut the old bit out and uh, that's the plan. Keep that as a souvenir. If someone wants to win this. Put it on the shelf yeah. in the house. <laughs> someone wants to win this in the next Rattabossa competition. <laughs> Part of an original BBI cut by the genius. Yeah, I don't think what I'm thinking. It's filler. That's what's <laughs> I think I could sell it, you know, <laughs> pay the bill. <laughs> I'll check this out. While I've been filming the CS, these guys, probably the, one of the worst areas on the car, this one, isn't it? This worst yeah, maybe, and yeah. that front one yeah. over there. Look at this, really coming along nicely. No filler, no filler. Old school. Finished yet? Not finished uh, yet, I know, but 
<laughs> it's looking there. much more pretty than it was. Definitely so. Look at this. It's real tricky because we've got this angle here, but we've also got the flat yeah, part yeah, yeah, here yeah. as well. Obviously, trying to get that edge is, a, yeah. is quite tricky. So keep maintaining keep the line, edge exactly. there as well. So there you go. So Bill was explaining, I couldn't work out when I'd sanded this car why I have these little black lines here. Here, you can see it's a straight line along here, straight lines here, little bits all the way up the sides there. And basically it's because this was all made in sections. This is one kind of panel here, here. Three or four pieces. Probably. Three or four pieces, you reckon, yeah? And then we got this, like that will be half there, half there. And as you can see, this bit here. So, there you go. It wasn't, it wasn't a nice big machine that just pressed no, these back in the day. They were hand-built, right? That's going to be cheap. Yeah? Because this one was hand-made. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It was, it was like one of the last hand-built Ferraris, this one. Bill and AK are available to fly around the world to fix any Ferraris or any supercars, you yeah. know? We don't care, man. Just, just don't forget my commission. <laughs> you get it in the place, no problem. <laughs> Look at that. Most places would have... I, I spoke to body people and they said that's going to be really tricky because of the angles of this and this part here. Uh, most places would have just... Put a load of filler in there. I know every time you come and see that there's oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that is literally I am flabbergasted at how amazing that has come out. That is just like it was done at factory. Amazing. Top job. Thanks man. <laughs> job done. Well guys there you go. Bill and AK smashed that bodywork out of the park. They've done an amazing job using old school dying art methods but they're the ones that Ferrari would have used when the Boxer was built back in the day. So I'm super happy we're doing this the 100% correct way, the right way that the car deserves. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, guys. If you did, give it a good old thumbs up, click on the subscribe button, and don't forget bell notification so you don't miss any of the video uploads. Until the next time, guys, give yourself a bodywork treat. Click on the link in the description below the video and save yourself 20% on some of those ultra cool Manscaped products. And also, don't forget, check out what I get up to on a daily basis over on my socials. Till next time, guys, stay safe and ciao for now.